Welcome to another lick of the day. I'm Brett Papa, and today is all about ditching them scales and thinking about chords. Because that's really where it's at when it all comes down to it. And nobody told me that until like 25 years in my playing. I'm like, dude, guitar teacher, fill in the blank, whoever you were. But way back then, I can't even remember. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> Somebody finally did. So I guess it was all part of the big cosmic guitar plan plan and i'm happy to have eventually found about it. maybe i just wasn't ready maybe it was like grasshopper you're not ready yet well maybe i am now thank goodness <laughs> all right if you like what you see also don't be afraid to check out brettpapa.com it is what supports what i do here and it is how you get free videos out there so check it out down in the links below also, we're going to be doing a bunch of songs coming up. So if you got a song tutorial idea, click the song request link below and I'll make sure to get to it. So, scale. E major, right? So we got E chord. You got your E major pentatonic. Or the whole thing. Okay, so if you look at this E chord, this part of the chord fits right into your E major pentatonic. Right, all three notes of your E chord. You got your fifth root and third. Those three notes make up a chord. So, in your lick, might as well hit them. I also have another E chord here. Right, from this shape. So, you got the same three notes different order you got third fifth root okay now that's great if you got one chord but what if and I'll, I'll show you the lick in just a second what if you had a chord progression right so you think of a major scale that is the notes of all the chords in the progression just laid out in a scale form when you start stacking or grouping those notes together that's how you get all the notes in the progression right so that's what you need to be thinking about what groups you know what three notes make up the chord you're playing over not you know what scale can i use but what notes from that scale matter when i'm playing you know whatever chord it is that i'm playing so if your chord progression was the who song <laughs> Okay, so say that that was our chord progression. Now, I would want to look for an E, a B, and an A chord. And if that was the case, how I went about my lick would be much different, and I would want to target those notes. So how do I do that? Well, let's just take a look at where those chords are in the progression, and I'll show you how I kind of came across my lick. The timing would have to be different, Right? but the note choice would be the same. Okay, so again, E, B major, or E major, B major, A major, right? So, let's cover the E major chord in a way you could do it. Start with your root note, seventh fret, nine, slide up, right? That gets you into position one of E major pentatonic. Now you're gonna start hitting those chord tones all over the place. You already hit your root, right? This note right here, <laughs> the ones after I made the mistakes and hit the random notes I wasn't supposed to, this note and this note, that's your third of the chord, right? So you got root, third, and then you got fifth, root, and then we're going to slide back up to our third, okay? And then you hit your fifth. So that whole scale run was all chord tones. Listen to it over an open E string. Now 
Now listen to how much more melodic that is than if I just randomly played notes. I mean, you know, it, it, the notes are correct. But I'm targeting. Right? Now if I really... That's really melodic because it's all right from the chords themselves. Okay, so that would be an E, right? So we went 7, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 13, right? And get into position 2 of E major pentatonic. But now we're thinking about a B and an A chord. So we have a B chord right here. Right? It's a D shape, right? Like a D chord. But these three notes spell a B major chord. Here's our root, right? Fifth, third, right? So, right there, B note. Right here. And then check it out when I go like this, I'm gonna complete the whole B chord, right? So our lick goes. So what we did was we took a note from the you know E major scale because our B chord gave us that note, right? Okay, so we got. Actually, I went the other way, right? So we got. So when we slide. 12, 11, and then we go 12, 14. We keep hammering those B chord notes. Here, right, we slid into it. Here, 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 here. Right, and then back, right? So we really emphasize that B chord, right? And then, okay, so that whole part, 12, 11, 12, 14, 11, and then we're going to go 14, 12, jump up to the G, 13, 14, 13, 12, then I'm going to go back here to 13, 11, and then slide up to where we're going to start getting into our A, right? So we got, now, when I did this, Two things are happening. I'm getting up into the notes of this A, right? So you bend up a whole step on the 14th fret. Once you're at pitch, you bring in your pinky and hit 15, which gets me here, right out of my A chord. So we slid into here, got us to an A note, and then, right, got us in that A chord, but it also got us in this E chord because our chord progression is going to go. Right back to E, so we got. And then we got. All right, so that's. Come down and then 12, 14, 12. Now we're going to hit E shapes. Okay, so you got E here. You got an E in that D shape. And then you got an E here. So what we can do, right, is work out of our fifth position in E major. Right, in our fourth position. third position right so 
guitar. How are we going to do that? So we're going to go nine and do a half step in. So all fifth position. Nine, half, seven, nine, seven, nine. Pull the six, slide to four. Now I'm going to borrow a note for my E major scale. And I'm going to go six, seven, back down to four. And seven, six. Right? So at that moment, we've gone from position four into position three. Right? E here, E here. Okay, so you got E here. frame of thinking it changes the way that you think about playing instead of like I did for like 14,000 years just thought about dude I'm gonna know my scales I got exercises I'm just gonna rip up and down making totally senseless non melodic scale awesomeness and it just sucked then you got to improvise and you're like what am I doing I'm just playing scales that's not fun well maybe it sounds fun for a while but then after a while and you see people in the crowd they're like because you're not playing anything exciting, then you're like, dude, what am I doing? Or, lady, what am I doing? <laughs> so, think about the chords. That's the magic. Thank you so, so, so much for watching another Lick of the Day. Again, Lick of the Day is possible by supporting me down at brettpapa.com, where the focus is on stuff just like this, but played to music, where it matters most. So you too, can get up and improvise and hit the right notes at the right time. If you like what you see, the biggest favor you can do for me is share the video and subscribe. It's over here, subscribe. <laughs> Click the bell, that'll let you be notified when new videos come out. Also check the links down below. Again, there's song requests links, there's tutorials, there's a three-part soloing series. And also over here are some more song tutorials and other playlists, so check them out as well. Thank you so, so, so much for the continued support. Catch you next time.